The first time I met Kim and he mentioned the idea of building student homes uh, out of containers, I thought, uh, I mean, of course, but I'm sure that it's already been, uh, been done before. But then when we looked down, it, it actually hadn't been done and it felt like we should definitely be the ones to do it. Initially, I got the idea because my son needed a place to stay and we couldn't find anything affordable. And I actually got provoked by that, that the students can find a place. My first thought when I saw the Urban Rigger was that it was a very interesting concept and a very interesting solution to uh, the challenge of urbanization. Since I moved to Copenhagen last year, I've moved four times. It's been really stressful. There just aren't that many housing opportunities for students. It is really difficult when you don't originally come from Copenhagen and have a big network. I think the concept of Urban Rigger is really amazing. There's so much water and they've just placed these urban riggers out here and made the opportunity for our students to have a house. When you're on water and you look at the city, you see the city in a different perspective. And you see areas that are underutilized. Take a tour in the canal boats and you'll see the city from a different perspective. And you actually see how many places it's possible to utilize the water areas. And by utilizing the shipping containers, by utilizing the center wood for the floors, by utilizing the pumps and the thermostats from Danfoss, we are taking the best parts and the newest technology to make something as sustainable as possible. With the riggers, we had quite obvious uh, resources. We have abundance of daylight and potential solar heat gain. If you live there, you can actually easily, as a student, heat your home from the shining sun. But a small amount, I think only four square meters, uh, actually power the heat pump that extracts heat from the sea. So in that sense, as the ultimate symbol of hedonistic sustainability, uh, the students here can take long, warm showers without feeling uh, guilty. The biggest challenge in urban rigor is minimizing the components because every square meter is costly. That could, for example, be the ventilation system, which is one of the most space requiring products in, in a housing. The floor heating system in the urban rigor is different from most private households, seeing that it is a light construction. You have the floor heating pipes integrated and that gives you some advantages in regards to reducing temperature fluctuations and overheating. Urbanization, people moving to the cities, is both a problem but it is also the solution. So how do we make the problem a part of the solution? I think the urban rigor is an answer to that. We think smart. And by thinking smart, I mean thinking sustainable. Now sustainable solutions means that it both looks good, it's nice to live in, but also that it performs. We need to have architects and engineers and the contractors to work together. Politicians set up the rules, architects draw the lines, and the engineers have to be somewhere in the middle so the technical solutions apply to them both. Today, sustainability is almost another word for common sense or making things uh, practical or smart. And I think companies like Denfoss have pioneered and, and made uh, available sort of as everyday items a cutting edge technology that actually makes something that would have been utopian a decade or two ago something that is completely attainable and should actually be every day. I would definitely consider a living at Urban Rigger if they were to build more. It balances the whole privacy and the social aspect of living in a, a dorm. It also is relatively affordable, which is a big plus when you're a student. We hope to inspire the next generation of students. So I think my wish in general is just to, you know, get them out there and get some roof over their heads. At the end of the day, they are our future. We started with this rigor and, uh, and I think it feels like an idea that could be incredibly fun to, to take much further, to keep uh, exploring how maybe at some point new technologies uh, uh, become available. We can even sort of upgrade uh, the urban rigor for, uh, for future students. I think the urban rigor has the potential to be an important part in solving the challenge of urbanization. The fact that Danfoss is a part of this is what drives us, and I hope to see many more urban riggers in the future.